Hi, Michelle Seitz here. You're watching Compare Documents. Here's the scenario. You have two different versions of the same document and you want to know what changes were made from one document to the other. So you want to compare the documents to identify the changes. Watch this video to learn how to do this. Go to the Review tab and in the Compare group, select Compare. In the drop-down, select Compare. The Compare Documents dialog box is displayed. In the Original Document field, click the folder and navigate to your original document and select Open. In the Revised Document, click the folder, navigate to your updated document and select Open. Notice this back and forward button. When you select this button, you can reverse the revised document and the original document. This button will hide and display some more options. In this area, you make the decision as to what will be displayed when you compare documents. In this section, choose whether you want to show the changes in the character level or the word level. In this section, you can choose whether to show the changes in the original document in the revised document or in a completely new document. I want to show my changes in a new document. It will preserve the documents you are comparing. You can change the file name to a more appropriate name. When you click on the final show markup down arrow, you will see some choices. The final show markup will display all the changes and comments in the latest document as a final document. The final selection will not display any changes or comments, only the final document as if all the changes were accepted. The original show markup will display the original document with all the changes and comments. The original selection will only display the original document with no markup. Below the final show markup field is the show markup field with a drop down. When you click on the drop down arrow, you have choices. The first five markups are the comments, ink, insertions and deletions, formatting, and markup area highlight. Place a check mark next to the items you want to see displayed. Since I don't have any ink annotations or highlighting, I'm going to uncheck those items. The next menu item I'd like to show is the reviewers. When you click on the arrow, it will display all the reviewers that have made any changes or added comments to the document. So if you have several reviewers on your document and you wanted to see a particular viewer's changes or comments, you would select them here. Next, we'll check out the balloon dropdown. You can select show revisions in balloons to display balloons, which will display on the right side of the document in the margin. The show all revisions in line will only display inline changes without the balloons. Only comments and formatting will display only that, the comments and or formatting. If you unchecked formatting box, you will not be able to display the formatting changes. Next is the reviewing pane. You have two choices, a vertical or horizontal view. When you select the vertical view, a field called Main Document Changes and Comments will be displayed below the vertical reviewing pane. When you select the horizontal view, it will display below your document. You can change the size of the field by dragging your mouse over this area. To close the reviewing pane, click it again on the drop down or just drag it to the bottom of the screen with your mouse. The left arrow icon will move to the previous change. The right arrow will move to the next change. The Accept Change drop-down will display more choices. With a change selected, you can accept the change. If you select Accept All Changes Shown, only the changes currently displayed will be accepted. So if you unchecked formatting in the Show field, the formatting changes will remain. If you select Accept All Changes in Document, all changes, displayed or not, will be accepted. The next icon will reject a single change, all changes shown, or all changes in document. If I did not have the balloons displayed, I can hover my mouse over a change 
and it will display a box noting the change and the author of the change as well as the type of change. If I right click on the change, a menu will be displayed where I can also accept or reject the change. The menu will change depending on the type of change. For strike through items, you will have accept and reject deletion choices, while an inserted change will have accept or reject insertion. When you make a selection, such as accept insertion, the color of the text will change to the default text color in the document. If you accept a deletion, it will no longer be displayed. You will notice on the left of the text are some vertical lines. As long as there is a change on that row, the vertical line will be displayed. This paragraph has a change, but since I don't have the formatting displayed, you do not see the vertical line. As soon as I display the formatting, you can see the vertical line. I can either click on the balloon or on the indented area and then right click and select either accept or reject the format change. As soon as you are finished with the comparison of the two documents, save your document, rename it if necessary, and close it. And that is the end of this lesson. Compare documents.